What's good, SAFC family? Brian Culver here with David Loretta. They should say Vaughn defending, and the opportunity to go, they fire away, and they score. Wow. And their first opportunity on net, Lorea finding the back of the net, and it is 1-0 San Antonio FC. Well, that was lightning quick on the counterattack, and that is some goal for David Loera. Man, I'm so happy to have you, man. You are our first walking the field of the season. Now, we've done this before, but it's a little different this time because now I am walking with a champion, man. First things first, how does it feel? I mean, you've had some time to reflect, you have the time to bask in it. How does it feel to be a champion? <laughs> man, you know, it's, it's unbelievable because, you know, you grind all year and then you finally get rewarded at the end of the, the year. All that hard work with your teammates, with with everybody that you know you you spend the year with so it's it's, it's, a, it's a nice moment a beautiful moment not only did you get to grind hard with your teammates but this off season you also got to get some r and r some much needed r and r tell us about your off season man what did the champ do during his off season yeah i mean i, I just traveled you know uh i think it's important you're here for eight months grinding it out you know that time that that you have off you know kind of get away from the game a little bit enjoy it with your family with your friends you know girlfriends so it was a, uh, a lot of travel for me for sure yeah yeah you did a little euro trip man what was your favorite place you went this all season london without a doubt i mean it's it's unreal over there there's a lot of things to do it was it was a great place to to be you know here at the end as we see miller with a spot a bother and it ends up in san antonio's feet and it's gonna be a goal and that's loretta Let's talk about last season real quick because it was kind of rocky for you, man. You had some injuries, you missed some time. What was it like not only celebrating for your teammates, being very happy that they're winning championships, but also going through your own trials and tribulations during last season? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it, it was the best way I could describe it. It was a bittersweet ending for me. Mm. Just because obviously, you know, you want to be, be on the field. Obviously, in my situation, you know, all these injuries and stuff kind of prevented me from being able to execute what I was able to do. But you know that the offseason also takes time, you know, to, to strengthen everything again, reset, and, and, you know, God willing, this year can go good and the fans can see, you know, really what I'm, what I'm capable of. And David, let me tell you, the fans are very, very excited to have you back. I know I'm excited to have you back. Now, coming into this season, is there a little more pressure on yourself because of how last season went for you? Yeah, I mean, you know, pressure, I wouldn't necessarily call it pressure, but, you know, I just I feel like I have a responsibility and I have something, you know, to prove to myself, to to the fans. And, you know, at the end of the day, I do this for, you know, them and my family. So I got a lot to prove for them and I'm going to step on the field and give 100 percent. And then my individual skills will, will shine and hopefully, you know, everything goes well this year and the fans can't really see what I'm what I'm capable of doing. Well, David, I have no doubt you are going to shine. And even when you played last season, you showed some great skill and some great potential. But let me tell you the most important thing of last season, they was talking about your hair, man. We went and did media days and everybody said, David has the best hair on the team. Now we haven't got to ask them yet. Do you think you're going to get best hair title again? I think I will. Yeah? I think I will, not only because you know I do. I do the freshest cuts, but you know, I switch it up. You know, every cut that I have is, is on point. So, you know, I like to switch it up. You know, I like to dye my hair. I like to be a little exotic, I say. So I think I think I still got it. Now, now last year, I believe for the home opener, you had the mullet, right? You rocked the mullet. Right. What are we going to get for the home opener this year? We're going to get a new color. We're going to get a new cut. What are we getting? I guess, you know, we'll have to wait and find out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So so we'll see, you know, still, still a couple weeks ahead. So, so. We'll find out the first game of the, the season. You guys will see what I'm going to be rocking. Well, David, I'm sure I can speak for all SAFC fans and say that we are all excited not only to see what hairstyle you pull up with, but to see you back on that field doing your thing. David, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Our very first walk on the field of the yes, season. Sir. Ain't go too bad, right? <laughs> nah, nah, ain't nah, go nah. too bad at all. The weather ain't bad. Nah, nah, nah. SAFC family, Brian Cole here with David.